Hey guys, welcome back to another Coding Flamingo video. In this video, we're going to look at how to package and deploy our .NET MAUI app for Windows. And if you're thinking you're having a deja vu and I have already made that video, you are correct. I made one in March. However, a lot in MAUI has changed since then. And this is actually now easier. And also that past video doesn't work as well for packages with multiple projects in them. So we're going to change that. So once again, we're going to use a self-signed certificate. So this is a certificate that is not actually trusted. If you would want to actually deploy this across Windows, you would have to buy a real certificate from a provider. And also you should probably protect it with an HSM or something like that. You shouldn't just have it in, in software keys. But in here, we're just going to create it and we're going to call it Coding Flamingo. And it's just self-signed. So to create it, we're just going to run this. And the certificate has been created. So if I open my personal user certificates, we're gonna see the certificate right here. But as you can see, it has a big X up here, which means it's not trusted. So to do that, we have to add it to our trusted root stores and say to Windows that we actually trust it. So we're gonna go and we're gonna open it. We're gonna copy the file. Next, we're gonna export without the private key. You never wanna export the private key. Private key should always stay in the computer that was created. And then we're gonna do next, we're gonna select the file name. We're going to do next and we're going to finish. Okay, so now we're going to open the local store. And for this, you're going to need admin privileges. So make sure you have admin. And then we're going to go to trusted root certifications. And here we're going to add the certificate that we created. And this basically says to Windows trust anything signed by the certificate. So now if we go back and we open the certificate, now it doesn't have the big X because now it's trusted by Windows. So then after that, we have to get the thumbprint and the easiest way to do it is doing it through, through code. So basically we're going to my user store and getting one that it equals the certificate name and then select the first one with thumbprint. And if we actually run this to see what the Thumbprint is, you can see that it's the same 10F1 as in here. And then after that, we have to run .NET Publish, the Windows release, and then pass the certificate thumbprint, and then put generate AppX package on build and enable signing. And then after that, we just run that. And this is gonna run and sign the code. And once this runs, we can we can see here in our bin, release windows, app packages, MAUI tests, the MSIX, and it allows us to install it. And now we have our app up and running. So that's how you build and sign your Windows application. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.